the next immediate topic is hive and hive is a data warehousing technique which is built on top of the hadoop and we have the major purpose of this hadoop is we already seen about how to store and manage the huge amount of data on top of hadoop we build a one external data warehousing package which is majorly works with the to manage and maintain to per, to perform the processing logics the best useful for the structural data let us check it out what's the hive in detail the main purpose of this hive internal operations is to perform data analysis on top of this data analysis we have lot of rdbms softwares are there but in hadoop stack if you want to perform data analysis six means we have to take the help of hive the hive is we already discussed it is a data warehouse technique which is built on top of the hadoop you people already seen that in hadoop we are already storing the huge amount of data as part of the structural and structured semi structure of data here the main purpose of hive and it gives the results on top of the structural data itself the hive will only manage and which is used to process only the structural data fine and if you want to work with this hive means no need to learn any additional additional languages like any java python programming languages and those who are well aware about simple sql the standard sql here we are referring as a hive query language and we are also forming framing as a hql hive query language we are using to pro to manage and process the huge amount of structural data information and here we are maintaining all the information in the form of tables for that purpose itself i am saying the terms like structural data in the form of tables itself i am the major concern i am taking in the to load the entire huge amount of data and i am performing a data analytics operations here i already given that no need to learn about any advanced program languages and Yes, yeah, like MapReduce programs itself, no need to write lengthy programs. Simple standard SQL like is language itself, it we have to be recommended, and we are working with that. We can only use the Hive query languages. And here, on top of this, if you want to work, if you want to learn more about in detail structure of Hive and Hive its architecture means, let's simply have a some simple architecture. Before going to the Hive architecture, the major need necessity of the Hive will be. taking as yes, part of the invention to control and manage this huge amount of data with respect to the standard query language will starts and will invented from the facebook as the largest community in the world to maintain the huge amount of data with respect to the user um, users who likes posts and respect to the their their, their user data like photos and their comments all these things here the thing is they are the as the facebook is getting and it serves the more than 1 million request with the people and the processing should be in very quicker manner if you want to perform those type of quicker uh, quicker performances and if you want to perform as the complete the processing in a faster manner means they need another structure on top of this hadoop which is existing with a big data like huge amount of data storage hdfs and map reduce and after completion of this inventions and they wrote one simple uh, easy and quicker manage tool to perform a huge amount of data that is hive the hive is a tool data warehousing we already discussed this is built on top of the hdfs and map reduce here if you want to perform if you want to work with map reduce means again we need to learn we need to learn how to write a java programs and how to process a huge amount of data which is stored in the hdfs and here a map reduce is also taking the huge amount of lines and it it takes the huge amount of effort from the user to write lengthy of the programs and executing a huge amount of logic user request for that process itself we build one more tool on top of the map reduce which is works with the simple sql similar to the sql that is we already discussed like hql if you want to perform this simple sql kind of queries itself if you are retrieving the queries means it is very efficient and in the map reduce in the hdfs we are storing in the format called files we are storing the textual files sequence files arrow files like kind of files we are in the files in the file manner i am storing in the entire data huge amount of data into the 
Hadoop distributed file system. But if you, the searching from the, these distributed files, it is taking a huge amount of time with respect to the taking the data which is from RDBMS. In the same respect to itself, they build a one structure. It is Hive is also taking the data from HDFS and it is converting in the manner of tables. The main purpose of this Hive and the, the internal organization will be leads to the we are maintaining, we are taking the same existing HDFS data and we are putting in, put in the some table. The Hive main duty will be adds the schema, particular schema to the HDFS. Suppose let us take in a simple example how, how the Hive will be works and how the Hive will be adds the schemas to the existing files. Suppose my file information is about student.txt. It's all about the ID information, name and marks. Fine, if you want to maintain these kind of things in, the, in the, our huge amount of data, fine, if you want to maintain this amount of huge amount of data, it is better if you want to process only marks or only I want retrieve names. So if you want to process this kind of things, we it is better to convert this entire textual information into a one RDBMS table. As the RDBMS table will divides and will works in the environment called rows and columns. The data retrieval from the rows and columns is very easy to perform by making indexes and we can easily retrieve the data and we can easily process on top of any column or data. Like if you want to perform only BC, only uh, if you want to perform the only operation on names those people are starting with B or something if you want to perform any analytic operation with regarding to any one of the marks field kind of things then it is easy to compare and easy to perform any actions. For the purpose itself we are converting entire te textual information as the structural information we are as converting in the we are storing in HDFS as part of the table. This is what the internal flow and the task we are performing in the hive and here if you want to better understand this hive means let us take in a hive internal architecture, how it works and all things. Here if you, if you understand this hive means, it has a components called driver and compiler and we have some execution engine. which is majorly helpful to store the and maintain the entire architecture. And here if you want to understand this is the hive architecture, hive internal things we have maintaining we are saying as a hive. We already people we already understand this hive is internally works with a HDFS data and which uses MapReduce programs. Suppose whatever the functions, what are the things it, the Hive program will execute in the manner of HQL. Fine. It will be internally converting into the MapReduce programs and which also takes the data from the HDFS only. It, the Hive it may, cannot be straight taken the data from any RDBMS, any additional NoSQL databases. It takes the data from HDFS only. Fine. And after computing things, this is the HQL. If you want to process HQL, we have to interact with the Hive in the, in the manner of any manner of things. The basic mechanism is by using sh shell, we are saying as a commonly as Hive shell and it is maintaining as a command line interface as basically we are working with the through commands. And this is the one of the way to communicate with the Hive environment. We have Hive web interface normally we are saying as HWI where by through the H web interface like if we can connect with the browser and we can log, we can also uh, check the schema of any table what are the table contents everything we can perform and we can maintain the HDFS data through Hive web interface also and on top of this we have some APS additional APS like theft and we have more APIs are there to work with the Hive engine. The main purpose of this third thrift API and another APIs is by it will take in any, any kind of language like a JDBC or ODBC or something. We have some more alternations to work with the suppose those people are well about only Java. We can also write the Java structures, Java commands to work with the HDFS through the HQL program itself. 
fine we will also write down i will also explain how the thrust thrust server and jdbc will maintain all these things and to work the manage and these are the basic ui components in the hive architecture basic shell environment and web environment and we are maintaining we are by using thrift api you can also uh, interact with the hive with any one of the programming language any programming language by using python by using any programming language i can maybe be communicate with the hive query language with respect to the map reduce and hdfs data fine we already seen that the hdfs in the hdfs we are maintaining all kind of information but majorly we are discussing of we are taking care of structure information with the help of map reduce program itself but we are not directly communicating the map reduce uh, by with the reference of hive user interface we are taking we are executing the things and the commands the hql will directly indirectly convert into the map reduce programs and it will directly take the data which is stored in the hdfs and here if you take understand this hql in hive components means here let us take it out we are sending the request to the hive the hive engine the hive the basic purpose and basic mechanism which takes all the inputs from the user is our driver the hive driver which enables the things what are the kinds of operations we have to perform and which uh, what we have to take in care with respect to the user request everything will be taken care by the driver we already have the some apache drivers we have softwares are there i will tell you the things and i forget to say it about well, i given the information like the hive invention is goes with the facebook community as part of their huge request and it is good now currently it is dealing with the apache software framework only as the apache uh, remaining components like pig and hive all these things fine the hive is also related to the apache corporation only the we have so the drivers all the drivers and all the tar files will be given by the apache software framework itself and the driver will generate the request to the compiler which executes which gives the information to execute and work with the placed on the some compiler suppose in the hive itself let us take it out let us take a simple example i want to retrieve some of the information in the which is stored in the hdfs here the basic mechanism is the which is related which is similar to the sql structural query language suppose in the sql we have one command is there that is select if i pass the request as a select means the driver will take care it will check it out whether whether it will be suitable for us to execute our hive engine or not then it will deliver to the our compiler compiler will compile and the programs and it will execute the remaining tasks which is given to the execution engine execution engine will completely taken care the how to execute all these user request and how to process huge amount of data with respect to the map reduce and converting jo the jobs the hive jobs into a map reduce jobs the execution engine will completely taken the care of all these things and it will also takes the help of meta store also fine sometimes the meta store is also will works will have will take the help of compiler to store and to process a huge amount of data like this the process of entire communication will be happens sometimes we have to after processing all these things again the execution the map reduce will give, the job will be converted to the map reduce job and the map reduce job will take the data which is stored internally with the hadoop file system then again data will be retrieved and it will be given to the execution engine this execution engine data will be again transferred to the compiler which is given to the driver then again like that we may get the output to the user interface if you are working with the command interline means in the same way however you are working with the internal commands in the same way i am getting the output also with the same respect to channel on top of this the hadoop the hive is also maintain some of the structure information in the form of meta store meta data that is will be maintained and completely taken care by the meta store here the meta store will also taken the importance of meta data and the data which is informally taken take care by the hdfs tables see we are saying that the suppose we are in the in the example also we are saying that student.txt is a file in hdfs storage here 
through the MapReduce job. I am taking the data entire data from that student.txt. Here the entire data will be comes to the came to the execution engine, and here it is the data will be stored in the form of tables, RDBMS tables, like that only. It will be stored in the in the form of Hive environment. In the here the Hive will maintain the database internally to store this all this information means they need some internal storage, right? For this internal storage, they are maintaining one mechanism. That mechanism to store all this data is meta store. The meta store is which is repra main responsibility to maintain the metadata, which is information about all the tables and all the databases in between Hive environment and what are the schema of the tables and all the information related to the tables and views. All these things will be taken by the meta store only. The default meta store for Hive will be taken by the Derby operating system. Derby server and here if you want to main on top of this Derby database also we can also configure to our existing database like MySQL or Oracle like this also I can configure my meta store as part of the Hive, Hive information retrieval I can also maintain to the MySQL as Oracle but the default meta store database will be maintained taken care by the Derby, Derby database only. And here, if you want to process and if you want to store all this information, the execution flow will be like this. I hope you guys understand this complete architecture which is related to the Hive programming language. And here, if you want to understand more in detail, means let's in, let's in, let's talk in about more thing about the Meta Store and the workflow with the Hive environment. As part of the Meta Store, I already says that it maintains the entire information in the form of tables. And here in the in the Hive environment, we also have the, some of the key components, which is a, we are already existed with the standard SQL language. This is the internal pro, internal components we are using in the architecture. And if you go on with the Hive programming language like HQL, the major components will be we already see the databases as the internal databases. However, in the MySQL or any, any operating system, we are working with the databases as portion of data we are maintaining in the form of databases of directories and we are maintaining the within the databases, we are maintaining the entire RDBMS information or any structural information as which is getting from the HDFS, Hadoop distributed file system, we are storing in the form of tables. The major works with the after processing of tables, we are also creating some partitions or some we are using some bucketing principle is there but we can also apply these partition logics and bucketing principles on top of these tables as the components of a major programming after after one processing these we can also apply the views and indexes to process and to optimize entire data as in the form of efficient processing if you want to we can also create the views and indexes to optimize the entire result sets and you can store the entire information as part of the HQL requirements fine on top of this we have lot of things that are there to process and to maintain the our HQL language our HQL performance will be in high mode for that purpose itself we have to understand what is the basic programming mode and to understand what the things will be applied and if you want to understand more in detail the first thing the basic the basic representation to store the data is tables for this purpose itself we have to understand what is the what are the tables are there how to create a tables and how many types of tables we can create in the hive environment the basic environments to create a hive in particularly with regarding to the tables means we have two kinds of tables creations are there that is managed and external we are saying this managed as an internal also as we have a one sub keyword as the external here the differences between the managed or internal and the with the external tables are simply very we have some simple difference with respect to the meta store and the table creation let me explain in between in the in detail what is the managed and external how to create these things in the hive query language especially with reference of commands itself i will also explain Let's look out. Yes, I am saying this as a manage. Fine, this is external.
before going to understand the differences between the managed table and external table as part of the storage components in the with respect to the high environment here if you want to understand more in detail means let's take a scenario suppose the data is already there in lfs fine we are converting with we are the lfs and hdfs we are saying all this information is we are getting from the user interface the data you are taking care by the lfs and we are storing in the into a hive environment in the hive in the internally will takes the entire data in the form of meta store it is storing in the form of in meta meta store only right fine here here we are processing in the meta store and with the reference of in hdfs environment only fine this is the hive environment in between we have and we are giving the one file request suppose some xyz.txt i want to convert this complete file information in terms of tables some structural tables i want to for that purpose itself i am i mean i am giving the handover in the my complete job to the hive as the hive query language we are maintaining the things in the we are storing the entire data in the form of tables and we are maintaining all this table information also put it in has hadoop distributed file system in after completion of the storage table creation again we are taking the data from hadoop distributed file system only here in this process indirectly i am moving the entire data from lfs to hdfs lfs means local file system to hadoop distributed file system but here the data i am storing in the form of tables for that purpose itself in again we are maintaining the in the form as a hdfs in the form of meta store as the meta base in the meta base information fine this is the information suppose i am giving the file information from hdfs only suppose in the hdfs only we have some more information that is in ab.txt if you want to copy this information this is already having in a substitute information which is some textual information is there here in already in hdfs i want to put it in hive environment why the purpose of this putting the data is to perform some data olap operations like uh, if you want to perform some data analytics means i want to perform this in this in this data into a hive environment hive meta store for this case how the hive will be act as a gentle here check it out the data which is already getting from the hdfs fine and we are also as the hive meta store it is also taking the meta store information and we are putting in a hdfs it never stores this ab.txt in the hdfs fine what's it will index it directly will take means suppose it we are maintaining this ab.txt in this hive meta store also as part of the things we are maintaining multiple copies in a hadoop distributed file system we have we have a some property is there with respect to the hadoop key features as we cannot maintain the duplication of a data for that purpose itself it cannot store this actual ab.txt here and what it will act what it will do means the link we are maintaining as ab.txt we are copying we are maintaining right it it will directly convert to the hive meta store and it will put it in in this portion of hdfs in this portion of hive stb hdfs folder that is ab.txt and it will remove the data which is given by the source information fine obviously whether whatever data we are maintaining we are sending from lfs or hdfs the data it cannot maintain in the both the things it maintain only single side that is the data will be moved in a hive hdfs environment fine this is the basic structure whether you will perform whether you will create a table in a h managed or external table and okay this is the basic structure and if you create a managed table what will happens if you create a external table what will happens let us look about suppose here i am creating xyz txt right and we are also creating the table in the with the name like xyz only fine suppose here i have information is like this some is student information like sids and names are like, like this or you can consider any employee log or any any information also you can consider here as part of this hive creation table creation i am taking help of manage tables if you didn't specify is normally in the sql how you can create a table we have to use simple commands create table table name and we have to add the schema some column names and data types 
fine if it didn't specify this is the normal table creation and we are not mentioning either this is the table name is a external or internal for that purpose itself that how do the hive engine will automatically takes this table name create table creation as a managed creation managed table fine if you want to mention and if you want to create as a individual external table means clearly we have to mention the table name create table is a you have to create in the manner of external for that purpose itself i am saying that create external table we have to i am clearly saying we have to create external table and then we are mentioning as the syntax is same table name and the schema what which you are having the column names and data types like this fine the basic differences in the syntax level means we have we didn't mention any table any table creation manner syntax command here we have to use the keyword called external to create a any external table in the hive environment fine on top of this if we create a manage suppose here let us take this i am creating xyz.txt with the reference of manage table i am loading this xyz.txt information in enter line to the xyz here xyz is a manager table for better understanding i am taking this xyz as a manage xyz fine and whenever we are loading the entire information it will also have the xyz txt copy we have with the reference of hdfs xyz dot txt which is a part of hive meta store fine and it is will create the how the the table will be have a look a link with the xyz.txt and always the hive will fetches from the link data from hive.xyz.txt and it represents the information in the form of tables only fine suppose this is the architecture right suppose if we create a some xyz.txt as part of the external same thing same i am giving the request to the hive meta engine and here the hive execution engine will take create the table with respect to with the name called external xyz fine and also it also maintain the hive dot meta store copy in hdfs that is what xyz txt and will have a suppose let us take it out for your better understanding let us take one more file that file name you can take it as a ab.txt only fine i want to copy this i want to copy this file information into a meta table with respect to the external table creation for this purpose we are maintaining it is maintaining ab.txt information with respect to the meta hive meta engine and it also maintain in the in the form of table fine the table information it, it has a link with the ab.txt and the table i am creating is ext ab fine like this i am creating the table and here we are maintaining this entire information like man tab and x tab this table information will, will look like with the rdbms table itself and the table the data will also arrange in the form of rows and columns fine this is the table creation i didn't given any difference with respect to the table creation and the moreover we don't have the difference with the managed table creation and external table creation except except we have the differences in the syntactical manner fine and where i can get the difference then then where i can get the difference means let's have a look up simple look up about deletion here suppose this is the form we done the data the data is also there in the man x y z and x tab if we suddenly delete these tables man xyz and x tab what will happen if we delete this man xyz if we suddenly delete this man xyz means it will also delete the link of files we have some xyz txt information is also there with the hdfs right it also deletes the entire information with respect to the hive i only created this manager table and this file link right for that purpose itself the whole responsibility will taken care by the hive whenever we are deleting the entire table information it also deletes the entire metadata information which is stored in the hdfs also fine and here on top of this suppose i am deleting 
external tab what will happen if we delete the external tab information means it will also delete the tab table as the table basic in basic deletion will be performed and it never touches the which is linked which is the date which is the actual data which is stored in the meta store fine the basic data which is stored in the hdfs in the form of meta store that never deleted from the deletion of a table information itself here as part of this table deletion here we are not deleting the entire data with respect to the meta store for that purpose itself as understanding this and specifying this content as part of the manage table if you delete the manage table it also deletes the which is the, we have the some hdfs file is also there right that is xyz dot txt fine it also deletes the xyz dot txt which is having with the meta store information fine suppose if you delete the external table it never deletes the some meta information the meta information still alive fine that as part of the external table deletion the hive engine never deletes the meta store information if you want to delete it means we can manually delete as part of the table properties fine this is the major difference with respect to the managed and external table which is related to the hive meta engine fine i hope you guys are understand what's the differences between the, with respect to the deletion operation on top of hadoop distributed file system fine and in the more in the more and more as i am in the in my in my development and experience also i am also taking the help of external tables to create and to manage my such information from the hadoop distributed file system why means if i want to in the in the, in the production system so in frequently i want to change the schemas and i want to sometimes i want to delete some tables and i want to create some new tables for that purpose if you if we even create even deletion of this table also my actual information will be in the production systems will be there and we can use it for the next table creation on top of this table in the file itself i can create one more file ext tab 2 like this i can create it on top of the same hdfs data i can create one more table which is helps for the new production system but here if you create manage table means the if you create if you, if you perform simple deletion also the entire information will be deleted from the hadoop distributed file system for that purpose itself i am using external table creation as part of the storing and converting the entire in structured data information into a or table structure the hive never takes and never performs the reallocation the restoring that things it maintains it takes the it extracts the entire information from the textual file and it will performs it will add the schema to data and it maintains the data in a rows and columns manner the main purpose of this high or table creation and high we have maintaining all these things means to perf to achieve higher performance with respect to the processing logics here by using map reduce also we can perform but on top of this if you are perform if you are managing this getting and storing the data with respect to the tables means it gives more performance with respect to the de dealing with the textual files or something any kind of files in hadoop distributed file system fine and this is the table alter table creations and all the things and about this let's create some of the things which is related to the hive query programming languages